Brave and lovely, Brooke's smiling tongue fuels Sheila's attack strategy. Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. Beautiful and bold has when Brooke Logan gives Sheila Carter an unexpected gift that brightens her bleak future with her kid on CBS, Sheila Carter smiles. This week is when these two women's unfailing qualities come into play. The first is Brooke, who has trouble keeping secrets. She was forced to divulge the private discussion she had with her daughter. Sheila then claims to be a different person, but she hasn't given up on her eavesdropping and manipulative techniques. However, in order to tackle this enormous task she has in her head, the woman with nine toes needs to sharpen those instruments. Spoilers for Bold and the Beautiful Brooke Logan can't keep it a secret. Annika Knoll's character Hope Logan revealed to her mother some extremely personal ideas she had been experiencing. The discussion was supposed to remain private. However, Brooke Logan, Catherine Kelly Lang, was telling Deacon Sharp, Scene Kanan, about Hope's promiscuous ideas just minutes afterward. Therefore, it is no longer a secret, especially in light of Sheila Carter's Kimberlyn Brown, recent appearance on Bold and the Beautiful. And Sheila Carter smiled as a fresh avenue for a relationship with Finn opened up as a result of what Brooke informed Deacon. By blabbering, Brooke was able to approach John Finnegan, Tanner Nolan, in a different way without upsetting her daughter-in-law. B and B spoilers, Sheila Carter's light bulb went out. Sheila's only obstacle to meeting Finn is Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline Messins Wood. Sheila is excited now that she is aware that there is another woman who has feelings for her son. To give Finn's estranged mother something to work with, Hope supports a mother-son bond. The father of Brooke's bride is now keeping an eye on her daughter. However, she doesn't have much access to Finn to get anything done from him. He shut that door after her son dropped the bombshell, have a good life. Sheila must thus honor Finn's requests in order to keep her transformed woman persona intact following his farewell speech to his mother. Fans of Bold and the Beautiful then speculate that Sheila would soon be seen manipulating a relationship between Hope and Finn by means of Brooke and her kid. But how? Spoilers for Bold and the Beautiful. Does Sheila rattles Brooke's daughter get along with her? These days, Hope Logan is met with nothing but criticism directed at her face. Brooke chastises her in an effort to distract her from her thoughts of Finn. Every day at work, she deals with accusations and warnings from Steffi Forrester. All except Finn don't seem to have a kind thing to say these days about the Logan daughter. Sheila therefore probably creeps in by altering some of the relationships. Probably the first person she pays attention to is Brooke Logan. She can creep up on the woman who is pining for her kid by casting a negative light on Brooke in Hope's eyes. It won't take much to make the girl angry with her mother. She only has to relay to Hope what she overheard Brooke telling Deacon. Hope would be mortified by this and furious with her mother. Making friends with the Logan daughter who is still undecided about Sheila Carter is the difficult part. However, she is capable of manipulating herself into someone's life if anyone is. B and B spoilers. Is Brooke Logan about to enter a dark season? It appears that Bold and Beautiful lays the groundwork for a friendship between Hope and Sheila. Sheila will probably give Brooke Logan's daughter a lot of encouragement in this regard. Most likely, the motive begins with the advice to follow your instincts and pursue John Finnegan. Sheila Carter and the Logan daughter are already in agreement. Both demonstrate how Steffi ignores and dominates her spouse. Fans therefore believe that this is Brooke Logan's chance to break up with her daughter. This thus makes it easier for Sheila Carter to sneak in and take advantage of the Logan daughter in order to achieve her goals. The liberty to engage in a romantic engagement with Finn, and based on what she learned from Brooke Logan, Hope Logan will be the one to promote this on CBS. It was a quiet afternoon at Forrester Creations. 
The usual buzz of fashion designers and tailors working on their next big collection was present, but a thick tension hung in the air. Brooke Logan paced back and forth in her office, her mind racing with thoughts and emotions. She couldn't shake off the nagging feeling that something terrible was about to happen. It had been several weeks since Sheila Carter was last seen, but Brooke knew better than to believe Sheila was truly gone. She's out there, plotting something, Brooke murmured to herself, gazing out the window. Just then, Brooke Ridge Forrester walked him, into her them. expression serious. It's Sheila. I can feel it. She's planning something, and I think it has to do with our family. Ridge sighed, moving closer to Brooke and placing his hands gently on her shoulders. Brooke, we've been through this before. Sheila has been quiet for months now. I think we finally scared her off. Brooke shook her head. No, Ridge, she's never quiet for long. And when she is, that's when she's the most dangerous. I need to do something. I need to warn the others. Ridge hesitated. Maybe you're right, but we need to be careful. We don't want to cause unnecessary panic. Brooke nodded, but as she left the office, her mind was already racing ahead to who she needed to speak to first. As she moved through the office, she ran into Katie, who was talking to Carter. Brooke immediately pulled Katie aside. Katie, we need to talk, Brooke said urgently. Katie looked surprised. Brooke, what's going on? It's Sheila. I think she's planning something, Brooke said in a low voice. Katie frowned. Sheila, but she's been quiet for so long. Are you sure? Brooke nodded. I'm sure. I can feel it in my gut. We need to be on high alert. Katie nodded, trusting her sister's instincts. Okay, I'll spread the word. We'll make sure everyone is careful. But Brooke wasn't finished. As she moved through the office, she found herself telling more people, each time a little louder, a little more urgently. By the time she reached Steffi's office, her voice was almost frantic. Steffi, you need to know something, Brooke said, bursting into the room. Steffi looked up from her desk, surprised by Brooke's sudden entrance. Brooke, what is it? It's Sheila. I think she's planning something against the family. We need to be ready, Brooke said quickly. Steffi frowned, her expression turning serious. Sheila, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I've already told Katie and a few others. We need to be on guard, Brooke insisted. Steffi nodded slowly. All right, I'll make sure the security team is on high alert. But Brooke, we need to be careful not to spread panic. Brooke nodded, but as she left the office, she couldn't help but feel a sense of urgency. She had to warn everyone. The more people knew, the better prepared they would be. As she continued to spread the word, little did she know that her words were playing right into Sheila's hands. Meanwhile, in a hidden corner of Los Angeles, Sheila Carter sat in a darkened room watching the chaos unfold through her network of spies and hidden cameras. A wicked smile spread across her face as she listened to Brooke's frantic warnings. Perfect, Sheila whispered to herself. Everything is going according to plan. She had known that Brooke couldn't resist the urge to warn everyone. It was in her nature to protect her family, and Sheila had used that to her advantage. By planting a few subtle clues and letting Brooke's imagination do the rest, Sheila had managed to sow seeds of doubt and fear within the Forrester family. Now it's time for the next phase, Sheila said, reaching for her phone. She dialed a number and waited for the person on the other end to pick up. It's time, she said simply when they answered. A few moments later, a man entered the room. He was tall, with a rough appearance and a cold, calculating gaze. This was Max, one of Sheila's most trusted henchmen. What do you need me to do? Max asked, his voice low and gravelly. Sheila turned to face him, her expression deadly serious. I need you to get close to the forester. Make them think you're on their side. Gain their trust, and when the time is right, you strike. Max nodded. Consider it done. As Max left the room, Sheila turned back to her monitors, her smile returning. And so it begins, she whispered to herself. Back at Forrester Creations, the tension was palpable. Brooke's warnings had spread like wildfire, and now everyone was on edge. 
Rich had called a meeting with the family to discuss the situation. We need to be careful, Ridge said, addressing the group. Sheila may be planning something, but we can't let fear control us. We need to stay focused and keep our eyes open. Eric Forrester nodded in agreement. Ridge is right. We've dealt with Sheila before. We know what she's capable of, but we also know how to protect ourselves. Hope, sitting next to Liam, couldn't help but feel a knot of fear in her stomach. What if she tries to hurt someone? What if she goes after the kids? Brooke reached over to squeeze her daughter's hand. We'll keep everyone safe, Hope, I promise. But even as she said the words, Brooke couldn't shake the feeling that something terrible was about to happen. The following day, Max made his move. Disguised as a former Forrester Creations employee seeking to make amends, he approached the building with a confident stride. He knew the routine well. After all, he had been carefully watching them for weeks.